Hello and welcome back. We are doing another plan with me today. I wanted to do a Shogun themed layout because I've been watching the FX drama on Hulu. I get so excited when it's like Monday night and a new episode <laughs> releases. So I just wanted to, I guess, kind of make a little notation in my planner that uh, I'm, I've been kind of addicted to this. So as I did with the feud layout, I heightened the lighting on my phone and then I kind of just traced the image um, and then yeah, just really simple. I am a reform perfectionist so I wanted to make the image as close as possible to the artwork so that is why I'm tracing. So I mentioned in the first plan with me that I'm really into British history, British monarchy. I've watched so many dramas, historical dramas, documentaries. You know, I love Lucy Worsley, Dan Jones. I just watch all her stuff that comes out on YouTube. But I get, I guess I realized that I kind of have like a lapse in Japanese history. I haven't really had a passion to learn about it or, you know, I hate saying not learn about it. Like I did, don't have a passion to learn about it because it is my I'm half Japanese, but um, yeah, it's just, it's never like tickled my fancy. So when this drama came out and I got really into it, it kind of made it be like the springboard of my interest in Japanese history. So I'm going to try to search for stuff on YouTube to see if there is, you know, more dramas that I can find because I can't really find it. Um, I mean, maybe you guys can tell me. Is there a place that I should be looking for for Japanese drama? Like I know NHK puts out some, but I cannot figure out how on the app to find these dramas. So if you guys have any tips, please let me know. Um, so one thing I'm doing differently with the Shogun layout as opposed to the feud layout is that I'm going with a theme. Um, you know, if, as you remember in the feud layout, it was a little all over the place. It had the few drawing, but then I also was drawing my dinners. And I also like committed to a weird sticker sheet that didn't go with either one of those things. And so it felt very all over the place. This time I'm keeping it, you know, just Japanese. So I have the Shogun um, artwork and then I have these cute like Shinto Buddhist deity gods and goddesses sticker sheet that I got from the crafty corgi house Etsy store so I kind of just committed to using that sticker sheet and just making it an overall theme for this week because I didn't want to make it like a cluster like the feud layout I decided I'm not going to draw my dinners this time I'm just going to put a little box where I'll just write it as a as a um, annotation and I know so I've gotten kind of away from planning out my dinners and there's a reason it's because Octavian has gotten really into cooking um, so every <laughs> night he'll ask me like oh do you what do you want to eat today he you know <laughs> as I mentioned in the last plan with me that I've been very very much into his butter chicken um, I've eaten it probably like twice a week for the past month so that's um, that's why you'll see, you know, originally I was trying to plan out my meals and now it's more just like a memory um, of what I've been eating for dinners. I still am not doing lunches for Hero because it's just, I think, you know, I just asked him in the morning what he wants. There's like four choices that keep well until his lunchtime. So I let him pick and then I just make it. So there's no need for me to like make a whole uh, planning for that. Yeah, you can see these cute little stickers. They're just adorable. They just remind me of like, oh gosh, I really like, I haven't been back to Japan since 2019 before I was pregnant with Hiro. You know, I would like to take them one of these days. I, all the kids have their, their passports. Both kids have their passports, but we just are not financially in the place where we should be taking trips. One of these days we will, but right now we're just on a single income family and so we are trying to budget um, one of the reasons why I started YouTube not only just for like a creative outlet but I was like maybe you know maybe 
something will come of it and we can start saving to do fun stuff. But I really do want to go back. You know, I still have friends and family. They've never met either one of my kids. And that is one of my goals. I'm hoping in like 2025, I can get that goal achieved. You know, having kids, you do want to teach them about their heritage. My mom is full Japanese. She came from Japan, went to America when she married my dad. So I know how to speak Japanese. I lived in Japan until I was four, five. And so I would like to, you know, pass a little bit of that knowledge of Japanese history, Japanese language, Japanese traditions to my kids. Um, the other day I asked Kira, I was like, do you know that you're Japanese? And he like literally had no idea what Japanese meant. And maybe, maybe that's normal because he's only four. Um, but it just, you know, I do want to try. I think if I take them to Japan, he can start, you know, he'll be immersed in the language and kids pick up language so quickly that, that maybe he'll pick up the language and we can speak to, to each other in Japanese at home. Ever since moving up to LA, I don't, and then, you know, I don't work at the sushi restaurant anymore. I don't have anyone to really practice my Japanese with other than my mom on the phone. So it's just been a little, I don't want to say sad, but I am a little disappointed in myself that I am not trying harder to keep that part of me stronger. Um, but, you know, it's just so hard when you're tired from having kids. <laughs> but I, I, you know, 2024, 2025, my goal is just to study more in my Japanese culture. I also want to go to more Japanese festivals this year. I know in LA they do like the Oban Festival. You know, I just want to make it more of a, a point to like go to these events that are about Japanese culture. And how many times can I say Japanese culture in one sentence? <laughs> um, Hiro does love his Japanese food. So he loves like yakisoba, ramen, fried rice. For his lunches, I'll often make him rice wrapped in nori and furikake. So at least he has that part. Uh, his stomach is Japanese or his palate is Japanese. Here I am finishing coloring the Mariko uh, poster. I do kind of wish I did the samurai poster instead, but I really do love Mariko the character in the show. Um, I actually have a friend who's more like a sister because I've known her since she's come out of her mom's womb. And her name is Mariko. Her dad, uh, I think, in the I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm correct. But her dad named her Mariko off the 1980 version of this show. Yeah, this is it. We're just finishing up putting the last bit of stickers to cover some areas. And please like, comment, subscribe. And I guess I will see you guys on the next one. Okay, bye.